Hi folks. I thought I'd lost YouTube this morning. I came back to uh, <clears throat> to finish off up, um, <coughs> publishing uh, the, the, the watercolour I did earlier to find a, uh, a message from YouTube saying, saying uh, like some words to the effect that an overlong video for an unauthorised uh, subscriber, well, um, I thought this is very funny, been on YouTube for five and a half years as a creator and I lost everything, absolutely everything, 1700 videos, all the comments, all the analytics, everything. Uh, and I had to go through the security rigmarole and for 30 minutes I was pulling my hair out. What do I do? It affects Patreon, Facebook, because of the links I've got everywhere. It was a real panic. But after half an hour it all came back. I don't think the two uh, pointed messages I sent on the help uh, made much difference. But anyway, here we are. Now this, this is MDF board, it's fibre board, MDF, medium density fibre board. I, um, it's very thin, 2mm, stuff that you back your photographs with or your watercolours behind mounts and glass. It's very thin but very tough and very, very hard. But having said that, being 2mm thick, you can cut it very easily with a craft knife, be careful, or you make sure your thumb is be, is away from the blade, behind the blade, so that if the knife does slip, and it does, your hand will be out of the way. Uh, and I've, I've roughed it up with a bit of glass paper, well, a bit of, bit of this belt sander paper. Look, there we are. You see that? So there's my sand, there's my block. Rough, roughed it up, and then I've got a, a one in one, one to one, dilute PVA glue which I prime it with there's no need to add a colour when you, when you work on white paper although I'm experienced enough not to bother but but if I'm painting over a, an old watercolour then I I obliterate it with burnt sienna or something it's a mid-tone uh, the colour of this hardboard medium density fibre MDF is mid-tone it doesn't need to be primed with a colour just sealed with uh, a coat of PVA glue should do both sides really. Then it takes the bend out of it. It'll go flat. Should be fairly waterproof. Uh, and I'm using a couple of Winton Cotman watercolors and a Georgian. Oh, I think actually two Georgian. No, I'm using a, a Winsor and Newton Griffin Alkid. Uh, that one. You see that uh, Griffin. Uh, Georgian, which is the uh, Dale Rowney student quality, uh, cadmium yellow, and uh, that was light red, by the way, cadmium light red, and a, and a bit of black. So three colours plus black. That gives a wide range of greens to save using ready-made greens. You don't nothing wrong with them. You it's just that I like black. Uh, so I've got that balance up there. That's a nice and tight. So it's a, quite, a, quite a nice day today. It's not as warm as it has been, but it's beautiful summer or spring day. Uh, so now yesterday and today I, I've done watercolour, acrylic and an oil painting of the uh, the, the rapeseed field. Now be careful I say that because if I put it in the title, I'll probably be able to get flagged by YouTubers unsuitable for most advertisers until it has a manual review where they will see that it is perfectly uh, harmless. So it is a problem with YouTube at the moment. The last six, seven, eight months they've been flagging, well my videos anyway, and eight and a half, or over eight, eight, eight million have been taken off. Right, I'm using a bit of uh, fast drying linseed oil. It's a uh, contains alkyd. <coughs> instead of the walnut oil for change. <coughs> so I'll, I'll do something like it. And someone asked me why I don't do the sky first. Well, I, I do it in watercolours and I used to do it in oils and acrylic. But I think it's good to put your masses in and then paint down to them. Uh, that's what I'm going to do here. So, 
so I'll, I'll make up some sort of meadowy landscape with uh, with a rapeseed field in the back. So a bit of medium, uh, a bit of uh, black and a bit of yellow and we'll uh, uh, let's, let's go over here with it. Quite thin at the moment. I work thin to lean to fat, but you, when you're working wet, you wet, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and we'll have some on the other side, a bit of red. Just to. And I was asked about substrata, and I don't know what that means really. I thought it was a collection of clouds formation. Um, but I answered the best I could. Substrat. Or does it mean a map? Right, let's get a bit of, bit of blue in there now. And we'll pull the Put the shadow in to the trees. Just a, a break in the uh, between the, the the trees. Because if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Halfway through there, if we wish. I've, sorry, the the board is facing the right, and I can't see what I'm doing because I'm not in front of it. I'm to the edge of it again. So I'll ask again. Does anybody know anything about Logitech webcams? Because I've got an idea. It would solve my problem of wanting to go and make a cup of tea halfway through my painting and pausing and then coming back and carrying on without a break in the video. This is the problem I have with the camcorder. Okay, so that's, uh, so we put this, let's uh, clean the brush, I'll just wipe it with a bit of toweling. But rather than, I'm not using any, any brush cleaner, I'm just cleaning the brushes like that. that I'll give them all a good clean afterwards <laughs> because there's a brush cleaner that mucked my chest up. Uh, we're okay now, <coughs> more or less. Uh, right, okay, so let's put in a bit of a, a hill uh, and some. Uh, what brush I use this brush? I'm going to use some, some blue and some light, and this light red and some bit of white. A bit of yellow, just to make it a bit blurry yellow. That's what we want. Let's come up up here. Bit of a, of a rapeseed field here. All, all rapeseed now, isn't it? Now I can paint down. I want it fairly, fairly bit darker than that. And I can just go off into the distance there. So when you do this, try to make your your tree shapes different. You don't want symmetry. So last one we want. Right now we'll get a bit of the, the yellow, and we'll add a bit of white to it, and try to see if we can get that. To, Yellow field. Soften. Great using the soil, but 
it's easy to overdo it and then you end up barely staining the board. I'll go back to that. When it dries off a little bit, we'll go to the for bit of foreground, then you know, a bit of darker green in the foreground there. That nice yellow, yellow lemon yellow for our field at the back. Back to that, so white and Cajello, bit of fluid. It's a little bit too wet there at the moment. But I keep saying that um, don't start off with a finished picture. Just develop it as you go along. It's got to go off a little bit. So let's do a bit of foreground here. Um, Yellow, bit of red, bit of medium. Bit of white, bit more yellow. Oil. I forgot the path. Oh, we'll go over that in a minute. I do like the meadows. Doing some of this oil. Down there. I've got a frame, I took another painting out of a 12 by a 10 by 8 painting inches. I thought I spent a lot of time on this with this one. And then having said that, I'll spend loads of time on it. Right, let's just get a bit of bit of colour up the uh, path. Bit of uh, blue and red. Bit of medium. I'm not sure about the light red, it's uh, it's, it's, I'm, I really want it for the clouds I think, but being Griffin it will dry quickly, it's going to uh, sort of develop the path there. So I can count a change. Oh, 
and have to uh, put out some more paint there. Right, let's let that go for a minute. We we'll need more greens. We we'll have to develop those trees, but it's just dry, drying off at the moment. So I'll get a, another colour and another brush in there for some sky. Now we'll have the blue sky, a uh, bit of blue, a bit of white, a bit of plenty of medium. Oh, I've got any left there. Uh, I'll just go back to the good old walnut and alkid. Walnut, alkid, and ordinary oil. That's ordinary walnut oil. Easy to varnish these. I've got, I've got a pot of uh, copal varnish. Oh, I forgot I had. I think it's household copal varnish, but it's a pretty good varnish over this. I want to put a bit of light back in the trees with this one if I can. It's a bit darker there. Right. I'll just reinstate those uh, trees on the horizon. Let's get a dark, bit of darker blue on there. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, I'm liking that. I just move the camera up a little bit. Okay. okay, that's probably a bit better. Right now, some clouds. Uh, so white, of course, yellow, and red. Let's put a bit more yellow out. The turn of his head. I mentioned loads of times. Make your clouds of silver, not of lead. Okay. Good day for oil painting. That's a day for watercolours. Exciting, but it's also frustrating because it dries much slower than acrylic. Take the cloud off the uh, edge. Oh, let's get a bit of the cloud colour in there. The you know, red and the blue and the white. That red just gives that little bit of lilac light to it.
Pöbel Pastor. to the board. So I can't, this is just shining, this is reflecting the light from, from the Velux window. Um, I have to, have to try. It doesn't collapse, it's a bit better. Right, let's work on work on this uh, this tree now. So we have lots of we have a nice bit of bit of red in there, and a bit of bit of black, a bit of oil. So we'll get some warmish lights. The counter change. With it's nice, look, I see it. A bit of, bit of blue there. Quite bunch of trees, isn't it? Probably kind of been overdone it a bit, but hey. Friend Jeff Day sent me some uh, a block of uh, <laughs> constable landscapes postcards. Oh, nice! Right, let's get some nice yellow in here. Spring green. I'll paint every leaf, so I don't really try to. So. Oh, now I'm going to go to the other tree. I'm going to put more detail in that. Light a dark oh, counter change. Plenty of dark in the shadow bits of these trees.
making it up as you go along. Although it would be truthful to say that I'm working from memory now of that photograph I took on Tuesday morning. It's such a lovely field. There's lights and dark. Let's work a bit on the foreground, I think. So I want to put in quite a bit of uh, light cloud behind that, a bit of blue. I'm working at a Primo like this. It's uh, quite, a, quite a challenge. Clean the brushes in the towel and knock up some nice greens. Deeper green than that. Have some blue and a bit of shadow colour. Soften this. Mix up from that, from that blue and the red, just to get some darks in here, just some that way you can put some lights against it all. Right, okay. <coughs> Let that dry, that's very oily there. Don't want to make it too chocolate boxy, but a little bit is all right. Bit of, bit of the field showing through there. Put in some thin trunks. I like that orange, so I'll put a bit more of that in. Because of the greens, it complements.
I'm going up the hill. Oh, let's have a little bit of greenery along, along here. Bit of a challenge for me to be silent. So I'm making the landscape bigger and the trees a bit smaller. Right, I'll have to do some of that path in a bit. Uh, now, let's do go back to uh, to that field. I'm hoping that that will be a bit drier now. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, blue and red, a lot of white. I just better put a bit of uh, bit of mona in there. <clears throat> now, uh, with probably the same brush, let's get some blue sky and just sorry about this, but I just want to just just put the blue behind that. Doesn't work really, does it? Open it up a little bit. Give a bit of an impression that in colour so I'm going to bring that cloud back into the landscape a little bit
right dark green I think yeah gonna have to mix up some more yellow it doesn't really show is it more yellow it's, the yellow is quite quite uh, weak I think Put a good lump out I do like mixing a bit of bit of red with the green, so let's have that there. There's a very rich, dark, ruddy green. Sorry about my head. Right. I'll do the same over the other side. Alright, let's put a bit of detail in that now. Keeping this green rather than white. Or yellow even. Some dark, plenty of that dark on here. So, apologies again. I can't see them because I I am tempted to take pot luck with, pot luck with this uh, webcam. I'm sure it will, because you don't do it on the, you don't pause it on the, on the cam, on the uh, cam, do you? You just do that on the Windows Movie Maker. <coughs> so it just stops it dead, and then starts no parts to move. It's pretty nice. Using a bit of, bit of black and red. Oop. Okay, 
Throw it away there. Where was it? Ah, oh, that's it. Right, now I need something to rub in my mild stick. If you want the detail in your landscapes, go and watch Smoothie 77 John, who paints in watercolour in great detail, fantastic draftsman. I couldn't do it, but he's uh, wonderful to watch. He spends hours doing these drawings. But the landscape demonstrator is Michael James Smith. I used to be in a gallery with him, the Webster Gallery years ago. And he is a phenomenal painter. Although some would argue that the difference between art and craft. <coughs> but uh, I would highly recommend both those artists for sheer quality. I stand a better chance of doing this if it was dry. But as I said, I'm, I want a ala prima. Uh, right. I'm just going to just put some light back here. Just lose some of that and a bit of, bit of greenery. Do that now. Uh, figure. Uh, let's have a figure. Turner is a great one for this. I'm using a bit of red. And Work out a sort of white hat. A uh, come over the say now. It's a chop when you a certain age. Ah, look, shake. Good as that time. Shadow. I suppose the light is coming from there, isn't it, really? So let's... Uh... I want to do something with with that. That's not very good. So I want dark dark green, red, black, yellow.
bit of a shadowy colour I think behind those trees on the right. It's coming into the light. Soften. Same on the other side. Just get some light there. That yellow and showing through. But I don't like it because that bit there. Fiddling. Don't know when to stop. Okay, well that's what that's what I'm gonna do on that. Don't think the skies are very nice blue. Uh, let's see if we can work with a better better blue. Okay, let's we'll put it in, in, a, in the frame, shall we? Have a look at it. Whenever you see oil in the title, you know it's going to be a long job. But you can always fast forward. Or you can see a photograph of it on Facebook or on Patreon. But this is for YouTube. So we don't be hard enough to bad, is it? Bit, bit of a chocolate box, but let's just move the camera back a bit. Uh. Uh. Right, let's just come around there. There we are, I can't get any squarer than that. Call that a uh, rapeseed field. It's just a bit greeny on the top there, isn't it? Uh, don't know if I can onto that. Oh, I'm going, I'm going, that's, I'm going to give up on that now. I quite like it, it's okay. 
Uh, so we've got a focal point with the figure. I can put a bit more red in the foreground. So make him a bit. Or we could put a little bit of white on him. Catching the light. Um, and a couple of uh, poppies in the oil. Go on, take over to it, why don't you? Okay, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. So I'll clean the brushes. You can go and have a cup of tea. See you soon, folks. Don't forget, if you've got any info on Logitech, let me know. Much appreciated. See you soon. Bye-bye.